Hey guys, this is Jamal with GospelMusicians.com and we're very excited about Neil Sokis 4.0. Took us a while to come out with it because uh, we had a lot of features, but um, I think you're going to really, really like it. Um, Neil Sokis 4.0, uh, we, our goal with this one, and, and, then we, and I say this in a friendly way, was to be the best created, best sounding electric piano library ever made. Not the best sounding synthetic but something that sounds almost exactly like your real one at the house. So uh, hopefully we did this. Uh, we added some more, more scripting features and just a whole bunch of features. So let's go through this. Let's get, the, let's get the odds and ends out the way and then I'll let you hear it. So first thing you'll notice with the new Neo So Keys is up here. We have uh, a new LED right here. This new LED, see before, the reason why the CPU was so heavy was because even though they were down, the volume was down, they still were being played. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost 10 layers being played at the same time. That's gonna increase CPU no matter what. So now we added these LEDs in which you can click on the actual text or the LED and it's actually purged. As a matter of fact, when you see me click on this, you will see the RAM going up. And then when I click off, I actually see the RAM going down. It means it's actually purged. So if you only want a release effect and a bark and a sustain, then you only got three layers. So this significantly increases CPU um, and we reorganize architecture. We got a FLAC lossless format, uh, FLAC lossless. Uh, we restructured the, the samples. We, we, uh, we got rid of redundancy. We got rid of a lot of stuff as far as redundant stuff that didn't need to be there. And then we added this new purge function. So for those of you who didn't like using Neo So Keys for, uh, with main stage, this is a different scenario. This matter of fact, if I play right now, see, we're looking at 8%. And as obviously if I reduce other stuff, you know, just a 7%. So there we go. So, and then we added, let me turn this down, a little hammer right here. So, gives you that, that nice little, that pop. It's almost like a, it's almost like a bark, but it's, it's really nice. So, even though it's not physical modeled, we sampled our way into physical modeling, if that makes any sense. So what physical modeling does with emulating, we actually did with sampling. Now, here's my argument against physical modeling. My argument against physical modeling, and, and it's an awesome technology, but my argument against physical modeling is that if you physical model, uh, physical model an electric piano. You gotta physically model all of these tines. You gotta physically model the amps that it go through. You gotta physically model a fender. You gotta physically model uh, an SSL board. You gotta physically model an API if it goes into an SSL board. So you have to physically model. You don't just, you can't just go and physically model an electric piano. You gotta physically model all of the electronics that it goes through, all of the tubes, you gotta physically model a tube, you gotta physically model an SSL, you gotta physically model an API, you gotta physically model tape and Eve, and then you have to physically model all that, and so what a lot of physical models do, they only emulate the electric piano part, but a sample, if it's done right, captures everything. That's what added the beauty to Neo So Keys is that we went through the right equipment. We talked to the guys who, who, who actually do um, mixing for the big guys, the top people, the, you know, the Erica Badu's and the Jill Scott's. What do you use? How do you run your, your electric piano through? You need to use this, you need to use this. So when we sample that, we sample the whole thing, all right? So that's my rub, is that that's what makes this sound so warm. So we got the new hammer effect, added new uh, spring reverbs right here three new spring reverbs. Um, 
we added a new LFO smoothing. So check this out. So I'm gonna take the smooth. You can toggle this and it goes in between intensity and smoothing. So let's take the intensity up and take smoothing all the way down and use a square. Let's hear what that sounds like. Uh, let me turn the turn that off and get my volume. So you hear how it pops? That's because the because the smoothing actually smooths out the edges of the um, the waveform. So we take the smoothing here. And this is going to sound almost exactly like what your suitcase sounds like from the, uh, the amp. That little whipple wipple. Still too much. So you can literally hand pick and craft your own vibrato, which is very, very important. This smoothing really allows you to change waveforms. We have a sine triangle, tri uh, sine square triangle, and you can really, really manipulate that. Okay. So, um, so we added the little stuff that detail. We'll get to this color mod that's special there. So um, now here's a new section. We added two types of tines. We got a high time and we got that dark time. Just to add. And just for just for just for sanity's sake, let's go over some of these mechanical effects. We got the time. We got a high pitch and a low pitch that and then we got the dirt. So up too high check that down a little that's the that's actually sampling from the inside with a microphone the actual dirt of the tines I kind of discovered that before here um, here's the pedal up Just turn it up that's what that's what it sounds like with a real and we have different versions to make it sound really real here's the key down effect it's just a simple boom. All right, then we got the key, another key down too. I love this. These are the, of the tines. And these are not global. These are specific to this particular suitcase. All right, key up. I like this one too. It's just like quick whoomp. And then key up too. That's the release of the tines. Everything, all the inner workings, effects, you know about that. We have uh, two different layers of effects. So the effect that you do quick, then I hold it, it's a different layer effect. And it goes with velocity. So if I click it and hold it for a while, holding, 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 it'll go down in volume. See? And then the bark. This is the actual more of the bark, so you can get more of the plucked uh, part for Neo Soul and then the hammer. So, all right, so what else do we got now? We added something cool. We added something cool here. Um, I got, okay, so this is the suitcase. I got three brand new suitcase. Uh, let, me, let me go to a perfect suitcase here. All right, so. I got three brand new suitcase sounds, all right? Here's the dry sound, all right? Let hear that. Hear that low volume? This is a mono. Now you have to understand that a suitcase is really stereo after it, because it goes through the amp. And the amp has those out, so it's stereo, but I know some people like that mono sound. Now you hear the low, now listen to the low tines right here.
right, and then we have butter. All right, this is the butter one. Butter is the, the stereo version. Once again, it is just as important what you run your electric piano through as it is the electric piano you choose. You can't just go and take an electric piano and just take the outputs and plug it into your sound car and sample it. It's gonna sound terrible. So what we did, we went back to the original samples that we had and we redid it. Remember we did this three, what, almost four years ago. So our knowledge of sampling is totally different now. So we went back to sample it and we found some new stuff once we ran it through some other equipment. So it changes the tonality. So we got butter and then we got cream. Cream, you, it's a, you'll hear it, you'll hear it. This is more of the Neo Soul sound. It almost sounds like a pad. If you hear like spoken word or Neo Soul. Still has the bark, don't worry. But this sounds just like that, that, that low pitch pad that you hear on Neo Soul. You're like, it almost sounds like a synth. They tricked it out. What they do, they trick out the tines and, and so that the lower velocities come out more and you still get the bark, but only when you want it. So you real low here. Pop it when you want to. That sounds beautiful. Ah, oh, so fun to play. Now, let's look at this amp section. This is very, very important. Right here, you click on the amp section and you have the ability to adjust the sustain, attack, decay, sustain, release. But this section right here allows you to dial in some very important attributes to your electric piano. This is all the mechanical effects and every single mechanical effect has a gain boost or a gain volume level down. It has the uh, velocity amount um, the velocity sensitivity and the velocity curve all can be tweaked out for every effect. So let me show you what, uh, let's turn some of this down here. And here's what the velocity amount is. The velocity amount says that, okay, if I turn this all the way up, then the volume will be adjusted per velocity. But if this is all the way turned up, then I get a higher volume. So you can adjust how the volume reacts to your velocity. I keep it about right there. The sensitivity is like a velocity curve. It'll just see, look how low I'm hitting it. But if I turn this down, so this adjusts the volume based on the sensitivity. So as you can see, between the level, the volume, the sensitivity, you can really tweak and hone your electric piano however you want. We have it for every mechanical effect. So for example, on your dirt, you want more dirt, right? But you don't want the dirt to sound really, really loud. You only want it to sound loud when you hit the velocity loud. So what you do is you turn the level down a little bit and you probably go about right, you take this here, you go about right here. So what this level does, it says, I want to react to volume, but then I'll take my sensitivity down. And you have to adjust it so that when I hit it hard, that's when it's going to make the loudest sound. But when I hit it soft, I'm going to barely hear it. That's the kind of stuff. That's the kind of detail that we took in Neoso Keys 4.0. Okay. All right. So what else we got? So this is very important here. Um, bo bo bo. So uh, per layer, um, so overall optimization samples, new samples, um, new whirling, new ties, FLAC, all new presets.